Decepticons! Attack! Autobots. It's Grand Time! Yes, it is, and I am he, and welcome back, Transformers Earth Wars fans, for another video. And sorry we missed a week, but in today's video, we'll be looking at, well, the fourth video in season two, but technically it was the third one that was, I, I screwed up last time. <laughs> I said Victorian was the uh, third one. She was actually the fourth one. The one we're looking at today was actually the third one. Doesn't matter. All one water under the bridge. Today, we are looking at the Dinobots transformed together into Volcanicus. That's Predaking for you Decepticons. Can't show you the Decepticons. Sorry, all I've got are the Autobots. Everything's the same, just different names, maybe different, you know, skins. But you, you get it. You get it. So, uh, let's take a look here at Volcanicus. And as you see, the model looks great. Here at level 20, he has a power of 4,480 health of 6000 or 64500 and damage of 65 650 I'll get it right eventually <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at the abilities so whenever you click here the first one is the Intergo sword <laughs> I hate that name Intergo uh, anyway jump around and strike with the Intergo sword Deals 2,860 damage to the target and anything directly behind it. Three star, the other three-star ability is Fire and Brimstone. Uh, you set an, a wide area on fire, dealing an average of 3,120 fire damage over eight seconds. And then the four-star four ability, Extinction. A shower of meteors bombards a very large area, dealing an average of 3,900 fire damage over 10 seconds. Quadruple damage to walls. So when this one came out again, it was the standard. Uh, he was a monster. Uh, everybody, everybody just loved him. Uh, he does look awesome. Uh, but does he hold up to the current meta? As with all the other uh, combiners here in Season 2, uh, we are going to skip Zones 1 through 12. We're going to assume they can, uh, they can handle those pretty well on their own. We're going to look at Zone 13, 14, 15. We're going to do uh, Base Trial. We're going to do uh, Prime League. We're going to do Hard Mode. All that jazz. And just take a look and see how well uh, Mr. Volcanicus holds up uh, today. So, without further ado, let's get to the testing. This is very similar to a couple of the other bases we've seen. So, we're going to unleash the combiner right here. We are going to use this ability. Let's just drop it here. We're gonna jump with our inner go sword <laughs> to get up in here, and then we're gonna flame this stuff like that, and then we're gonna jump onto this here. Then we're gonna flame all that. Jump onto this again. There we go. So that is what. Volcanicus was able to take Big out. I think. <laughs> Let's see. Now, reap the whirlwind. All right, so we are going to attack the HQ. No, we're not, because we're in elimination mode. It would not be a good test. So we're going to hit these defenses and see what we can do. Setting everything on fire. Ooh, that defense died. I really wish you wouldn't walk back around. Okay, good. Let's jump up here. And that's going to do it. 
It's a pretty good little area he cleared out, though. Let's see how much of this we can get. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to jump to here. Then we're going to use our uh, four-star ability up here to try to clear out the defenses. Let's jump to here. Let's try to clear out all that is really the beauty of that ability is its long range. So I would want to clear out all this honeycomb stuff for my bots so they don't get stuck banging on walls whenever they're coming through, right? And we did it. And he took out a chunk up here, left just a sliver. You could use a boost on that and clear that out. It's not bad. So I'm going to launch to one side. I'm going to try to fry the other side with the four star ability. Try to clear this all out, is what we're going to try to do. Let's burn this stuff. Then we're going to jump past it. Got that missile launcher over there. Burn this stuff. Gonna jump up here. Quite able to do as much clearing as I would have hoped. Did open it up a little bit. Right, so we have MDSs, self repair, self repair. We got an active shield generator. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a little bit behind here and hit that with the four star and see how much damage it can do. We're dropping him back so he isn't sitting here getting hammered while we do it. Go. Flame strike, all this. Jump right there. Oh, we have a combiner and it's gonna hack us if we live long enough, which we will not. Figures, we finally get a combiner. But as you can see, did not take out the MDSs or the shield generator. Alright, so this is a uh, MDS with nothing on it. No shield generator, no core, so let's now, see how he does. We'll hit this one with the four star and we'll try to take out this one with the other two abilities. Let's see if he can take him out. Uh, oh, he got it. And he's dead. So this one, that four-star ability did not do well at all. And it's got this little healing build bot there to bring it back. So that was not good. Okay, again, we're going to focus on this area. Right above it with our four star ability. This MDS here is going to be blasting us. Let's hit it. Let's jump on it. Hit it. So as you can see, ooh, it took that one, didn't take that one. Let's 
same thing again. And again, this it's got a self repair core on it. We're do the same task. We're gonna drop the uh, four star ability up here behind it. Try to take out this stuff. That's happening. We're gonna hit this stuff with the fire. Jump on it. As you can see, the four-star ability up here, not a lot of damage. Again, we have a self-repair core on an MDS right up front. We're going to drop him back here. Kind of keep him out of danger. And let's just focus our four-star ability this time right here on the center. Let's just try to clean this center out, MDS and all. And try to take that thing down. Jump on it. Jump on it. And that's it. So, by focusing our four star ability there and everything else, we were able to clean that out. Uh, that MDS with the self repair core. So, there's that. And that was our look at Volcanicus. What do you think? Does he uh, hold up in today's meta? Is he somebody you would trust to use in a, in a war when all of your alliance mates are counting on you to get the win? Or would you go with somebody else? I know what I would do. While he looks great. And, um, you know, I, I really, I really like this combiner when he came out. I just personally don't feel like he holds up uh, now in the current meta, and there's no way I would uh, I would trust a, a war attack with him. But that is just my opinion, and your opinion may vary. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think, and if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't, because it doesn't cost you a thing, but it makes me feel special. <laughs> and uh, if you are subscribed, then you'll get alerted when I release my next uh, video, which will be Defensor. And we'll take a look at him. Plus, you'll be alerted to all my live streams when I have them. And until next time, guys, just keep grinding.